Hello, Prof. Mo here of chemjoint.com. In this lesson, we are discussing solvent leveling, how the solvent limits acids and bases. So we call this solvent leveling or solvent limiting effect, solvent leveling effect. Solvents can reduce acidity or basicity of acids and bases when the solvent molecules act as bases when in presence of acidic reagents or when the solvent molecules act as acids in presence of basic reagents. Let us consider water as a solvent. Any acid stronger than hydronium, which is H3O+, with the subscript of 3, cannot exist in water. So any acid stronger than hydronium will not exist as the as it should be okay so it cannot be as strong as it should be in presence of water the reason is this let's take an exa example of h2o which has been proven to have a pKa of 14 at 25 degrees in presence of HCl, HCl has a pK of negative 6.3. Remember that the lower the pKa, the stronger the acid. So HCl here is playing the role of a bronsted acid. It's going to donate this hydrogen to water. Okay, proton acceptors are called bases. So H2O will play the role of a base. Proton donors are called acid. HCl is donating the, hyd acid, the hydrogen, the proton. So you start your arrow from the base, long pair to the hydrogen. This arrow number one is simply saying you're making a new bond between oxygen and that hydrogen. And these two electrons will be taken by the more electron wanting, more electron negative chlorine. So you will end up with hydronium looks like that there will be a plus charge on oxygen we discussed that in an earlier lesson and then chlorine left this time the chlorine will have four lone pairs while it started off with three the four lone pair pair of electrons coming from the bond okay so you get hydronium this is going to be the conjugate acid Chlorine is going to be the conjugate base. It came from the acid. So, what is H2O doing? H2O is messing up the HCl. It is reducing its power. The acid in the flask, if this was our flask, initially the strongest acid was HCl. But the moment you mix it with water, HCl is no longer there because it donated the hydrogen. What you have is H3O+. The pKa of H3O plus is negative 1.7. So what has really happened? We have increased the pKa of the most acidic molecule that we had initially from negative 6.3 to negative 1.7. Remember we said that increase in pKa is decrease in acidity and this reaction is likely to go forward because the equilibrium always lies on the side where you have a weaker acid so the equilibrium will go forward here because h3o plus is a weaker acid than hcl that means the water here is leveling off is limiting is reducing the acidity of hcl Con by converting HCl to another form of an acid called hydronium. And so we say any acid stronger than hydronium cannot exist in water as itself. It will only contribute to acidity and the acidity will be equal to the acidity of H3O plus because that will be the present acid at that moment after you mix H2O and the stronger acid. So an acid cannot be as strong as it should be 
in water if it's if it's stronger than H3O plus. That's the idea. So you drop a stronger acid in water, it quickly converts to H3O plus, and that's the most acidic that will be pre uh, that's the most acidic molecule species that is present in solution. That is leveling effect. So HCl cannot exist as HCl in H2O because it will quickly transform to H3O plus. It's limited. It's leveled. Increase in pKa decreases acidity, so leveling effect. Let us consider the leveling effect if it will happen when acetic acid, which is a weaker acid, acetic acid is a weaker acid than, this is weaker acid than hydronium. Is it going to level the acetic acid acidity or not? So we come here and draw H2O and then we draw our acetic acid which is the active ingredient in vinegar. Since it's a weak acid, it will partially ionize in water where the H2O lone pair will, will attack the most acidic hydrogen in acetic acid. And then this bond with two electrons will be transferred to the oxygen. The oxygen currently has two lone pairs. If this happen, if and only if it happens, because it's a weak acid, it's a weak proton donor, you'll get hydronium. And then you will get your acetate conjugate base. There will be a negative charge on oxygen if you do your formal charge. We did that in an earlier lesson. Like I said, the pKa of water is roughly 14 at 25 degrees. The pKa of acetic acid, I believe, is 4.76 roughly. So again, to begin with, you see acetic acid is more acidic than water. Acetic acid will play the role of an acid. The water will play the role of a Bronsted base. Well, acetic acid will play the role of a bronsted Lowry acid because it's a proton donor. And that's how you're going to get your products. You'll get your products. This hydronium is going to be the conjugate acid. And then the acetate with a negative charge is going to be the conjugate base. Let's talk about equilibrium and which side is going to be favored. Remember the rule again, equilibrium favors the side of the weaker acid. The pKa of hydronium, like we said before, is negative 1.7. See, this is the side with the weaker acid. You have the conjugate, you have the parent acid and you have the conjugate acid. Compare those two. This is the weaker acid of the two on either side. So most likely the equilibrium will be going backward. If the equilibrium is going backward, then reactants are favored. If reactants are favored, then acetic acid will always be most likely present in presence of water. So water does not level off. Water does not level, does not limit the acidity of a tetanoic acid, acetic acid, because it's a weaker acid compared to the um, hydronium. Remember the rule, any acid stronger than hydronium cannot exist in water. Is, it a, is, a, is acetic acid stronger than hydronium? No, because the pKa is 4.76, the pKa of hydronium is negative 1.7. So acetic acid will exist most of the time as is the pKa of 4.76 will be maintained. You will have you'll have acetic acid in this form, and very less of this form will exist. So water cannot level off acetic acid. Okay, but but before we said that H2O can level off HCl because we ended up 
making hydronium, which had a pKa of negative 1.7, yet this had a pKa, was it negative 6.3? The equilibrium favors the side with the weaker acid, equilibrium goes forward. So this one will not exist. It will always be converted to hydronium. And so that was, that was the leveling effect. But with acetic acid, there's no leveling effect. How about bases? Let's consider uh, water as a solvent. Let's see what will happen if we have a stronger base. So the rule is any base stronger than hydroxide, we are forming hydroxide this time around, cannot exist in water. It will be transformed to something else, like HCl was transformed to something else. Okay. And also, it cannot be as strong as it should be. That strong base can only be as strong as hydroxide, which will be mostly present. Let's consider the amide base, amide base. This is a very strong base, one of the strongest bases. And if you want to know it's strong, let's see if the reaction is likely to go forward. Use the lone pair of, on the nitrogen actually, the two lone pairs, lose, use one of them to take out a hydrogen from water and then these two electrons will go to the oxygen. Why are we going this way rather than using the lone pair of water to take out the hydrogen? The reason is because if you look at these two, uh, this is negatively charged. Usually species that are negatively charged will play the role of a base because they are likely to, ex to accept a proton. They are likely to accept a proton. So water here will play the role of an acid, proton donor. It's donating this to the nitrogen. So the amide base is taking that hydrogen using its lone pair. That lone pair will be somewhere here. That makes the new bond. And then the water itself will be O minus, OH minus, with three lone pairs. Right now you have two lone pairs. After this two in the bond goes to oxygen, you get three lone pairs. So you're going to get ammonia from NH2 after accepting the hydrogen, and you're going to get hydroxide from H2O after losing the hydrogen. Let's compare pKa's. Remember that the reaction favors the side with weak, weaker acid, actually weaker acid, weaker base. The pKa's can be used here to decide. pKa of ammonia is 36. pKa of water is 14. You remember we say that the higher the pKa, the weaker the acid. So NH3 is a weaker acid compared to H2O. The reaction is really going forward. If the reaction is really going forward, favoring the products, you don't expect this to exist you will always be forming hydroxide. And in that case, in that very flask, so in that very flask, the most basic species will be HO minus, not NH2 minus. Water, the solvent, will have leveled off, killed the stronger base, leveled off the stronger base, limited the stronger base. That is solvent leveling effect. So again, any base stronger than hydroxide cannot exist in water. Cannot be as strong as it should be. That strong base can only be as strong as the OH- that is formed. Let me show you an application on why, why we should worry about the leveling effect using the base situation. So, how does solvent leveling affect our reactions? Let's con consider the reaction we just discussed where the amide is quickly reacting with the water. Water is re, uh, re neutralizing it somewhat to ammonia. 
This is important because in reactions, the choice of solvent should be very, 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 very important. So suppose I want to remove a hydrogen from this molecule. This molecule is called terminal alkyne. Okay, suppose I want to remove the acidic hydrogen from a terminal alkyne, which is one of the reactions you learn in organic chemistry. The best, uh, one of the best uh, bases we use is actually amide because it's strong enough. OH minus is not strong enough to take out the hydrogen. I'll show you. So amide will take out that hydrogen. So this plays the role of a base and the terminal alkyne, terminal because the triple bond is at the end, terminal alkyne, alkyne will play the role of an acid. What you get is what we call an acetylide. That is going to be the conjugate base. It just lost its hydrogen to NH2. So now NH2 is now ammonia. The pKa of ammonia, we know that it's 36 roughly. The pKa of the terminal kind is roughly 26. Judging from the equilibrium, which lies on the side of the weak acid, we are definitely going forward because the higher the pKa, the lower the acid. So, amide is a good base. And this will only happen if there is no competing solvent, no leveling effect. Okay? No competing solvent like water. Because if you put H2O here, NH2 minus is going to react with it. Okay, so if you put H2O in this case, if H2O is the solvent, you have a problem because the NH2 minus will have now preference to deprotonate the water which has a pKa of 14 instead of deprotonating the terminal alkyne which has a pKa of 26. Why is this so? Why is it that the in presence of a competing solvent the amide gets confused? The reason is because the in this equation number two the alkyne is less acidic than the water so the base the amide it's likely to just react with the water. And in that case, you get leveling effect because the water is going to be converted to OH-. Uh, the amide itself, the base itself, will be converted to ammonia. So you see, the Solvent here is doing a leveling effect in some way because the strong base will be neutralized to OH minus. This is a competing reaction. You don't want the solvent reacting with the base. You wanted the base to react with the terminal kind like in question in equation one. So it's very important and very crucial that you choose your solvent wisely. An example of a non-competing solvent here could be something like dimethyl ether. That one does not have acidic hydrogens to compete. In fact, the pKa of those hydrogens is very, very close to 50. In which case, if the pKa of this hydrogen is 50, then the base is likely to react with the terminal kind because it has a lower pKa. This time, this becomes a stronger acid than the solvent molecule. In place of using, in, in the place of using water, the strong base will prefer to react with the water instead of the intended acid. To avoid such competing effect, you want to use a solvent that will not react with the base because the solvent will level off the base. That is the application. I hope that helped. Bye.